WFNN. Headline News Update. And welcome to the 2 p.m. update with me, David White. What do we have going on today? Well, there's uh, several things, but uh, just to cover the S&P up a little over 2%, uh, NASDAQ up 2.3%, uh, Dow 30 up 2.3%, and uh, Russell 2000 up 1.8%, crude uh, down about 2%, uh, and gold uh, down about 1.25%. So what do we have going on? Well, there's a confluence of things going on. We had Apple, and uh, when we were in the Tiger's Den last night watching the earnings come in, uh, before they came in, I started uh, showing some of the numbers. We had a lot of people over the last uh, four or five days that were shorting Apple, um, mostly about uh, in the range of about one out of every four shares, uh, and there was already enough, but uh, a lot of people piling on. And... Uh, and that's kind of it at the moment. We've got uh, a great deal. Um, oh, I need to do that, don't I? So I'll get that fixed during the break. Okay, anyway, so we got a few things going on. One, a lot of people were short Apple, uh, and they rolled snake eyes. Um, I thought that it was going to go to at least 150 today. I, I was kind of surprised it got up to 155. But uh, once it got up to 50, 150, everybody kept shorting it, and they just wouldn't quit. Uh, this is against a backdrop of a few things. One, uh, November 1st is the uh, date, or actually the 31st, is the date that bonuses are figured for about 80% of the folks on Wall Street. And that is the closing price is what uh, they get for a December 1st uh, bonus check going into Christmas. So there's uh, kind of a lot of shenanigans going on and make sure that they put the uh, best face they can on uh, the market uh, going into that. We also have normal fund buying, which is the last two trading days and the first three trading days of the month. So we've got a lot here that's going to give the next little bit of uh, a couple of days in next Wednesday uh, fairly strong wind at your back. We'll talk about this and more in the show in a few minutes. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. <laughs> 